Hello, Rabbi Rosen here, hoping all is well with you and wishing you and yours a very pleasant Shabbat. This coming weekend, beginning on Saturday night, we commemorate the sad fast day of Tisha B'Av, the day that commemorates the loss of Israel's sovereignty, its two temples, and its independence in the land of Israel, first at the hand of the Babylonians in 586 BCE, and then by the Romans in the year 70 CE. The day also commemorates a number of other sad disasters in the course of Jewish history. When the question emerges, what caused this great disaster of the loss of Israel's independence, the destruction of the temple? Our sages did not turn to politics nor the relative military might of foreign enemies, but rather looked inward. Specifically with regard to the loss of the second temple, they said it was a matter of sinat chinam, baseless hatred. Jews hated each other for no particular reason than to promote their own perspective and point of view. They turned on each other with not only harsh words, but internal violence. And in the midst of this kind of weakening, it was a rather easy affair for others to take advantage of us. We live in a culture today that can easily be described in similar ways, a place of sinat chinam, of baseless hatred. The kind of polarization, the demonization of the other is taking place at an alarming kind of rate and manner, and often results, as we have seen this past week, in incredible violence that has taken the lives of so many, especially in Dayton and El Paso. But our sages, also in modern times at least, have suggested a very different kind of course as a course correction, and that is to turn that notion of baseless hatred on its head and instead to practice ahavat chinam, baseless love, to deliberately seek out the good in each other, to cultivate it, to nurture it, to be able to see ways in which we can build bridges rather than to destroy them. And how to begin well, that key is found reflected in the words of Emily Dickinson, who once said, I know of nothing in the world more powerful than a word. And we begin reading this week, the fifth book of Torah, Devarim, which just means words. Ela HaDevarim. These are the words, says Moses. And because of the proclivity we have as human beings to constantly seek ways of communicating, we begin with what we have at our disposal, our words. How do we speak to each other? What words do we choose? How do we adopt a tone that is civil and kind, patient, respectful, as opposed to the opposites? This can and has always been our beginning point in trying to bring about a world far closer to the goal of ahavat chinam, baseless love, and baseless hatred. Let that be our way. Shabbat shalom and the very best to you all.